keep on sharing with you guys. So last time we stop over here, uh, we remember the duality of ln of absolute value of x or or this x over here. Both of them had the same duality one over x. The difference here is the domain. This one here, the domain will be overview number except zero, which is the same domain of one over x. This one over here, it is going to be all positive number, okay? Now today, we're gonna to go over log differentiation. So log differentiation, okay? So the first step over here, okay, that's good, okay? The first step over here is to uh, take log, take ln first. Second step is to differentiate that, okay? So uh, when do we use it? We use it for a complicated function involve quotient like this one, uh, product, power, root, etc. Okay. So now this function over here is kind of complicated, right? It is a quotient, and now it has power. Okay. It has this root over here. It's kind of complicated. So if you just differentiate that, you have to use a quotient rule, product together with product rule, and then chain rule, etc. Right. Okay, so for complicated function like this one, we like to use this called log differentiation. So the first step is to take ln, okay? So take ln on both sides, okay? When I take ln on both sides of this equation, okay? Um, this is still ln of y on the left side. Uh, on this side, remember you use the property of ln. Uh, for a, b greater than zero, P a rational number, uh, ln of this quotient is going to be the difference of this to ln over here. ln of this product is the sum of this to ln here. And ln of a to this power, this power, this exponent over here is going to move to the front, okay? So P can move to the front, it become P times ln of a, okay? All right, so, now over here, you have ln of a quotient here first. So it become uh, the ln of this numerator subtract ln of the denominator. But this is a product. So using this one over here, it become ln of this part plus ln of this part over here. Okay, so we have ln of x to the 3 4 plus ln of the square root of x squared plus one, but square root is the same as to the one half power, okay? So write it in a power form, okay? Because that way later on, you can use this property to bring this one half to the front of this ln. Now this is dividing over here. So you subtract ln of this denominator, okay? Okay, oh, yeah. So now, uh, after that, you can bring this exponent in front of this ln using this property. And also bring this exponent in front of this ln, this exponent in front of this ln using this property. So we have this right here. So ln of y is equal to this, okay? So make use of those property. Now, when you define, now the second step for log differentiation is to implicit differentiation to find y prime, okay? The y prime over here, maybe I should label, okay? To find y prime. Uh, remember, implicit differentiation had two steps, right? The first step is just differentiate both sides with respect to x. The second step is just solve for y prime, okay? It says my internet connection is unstable. So if ever I got cut off, you can stay on and I will come back in, okay? So the first step over here, we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x, okay? So let's differentiate this side with respect to x. What's the duality of this with respect to x? The outer function is the ln function, right? So differentiate the outer function, you've got what? One over, one over, y. one over y, one over whatever this inner function here, right? Remember the duality of ln of x is one over x. Oh. Hey, you guys didn't sign in. 
remember to sign in and also say something nice. You can forget to say good morning to me. <laughs> Sometimes I actually we over every I we over the, the every single chat and. Sometimes I have to. <laughs> some, sometimes I actually need a copy and paste some of the nice words that you guys say. So when I feel like I'm kind of uh, down because I will wait over the nice comment that keep me survive. So, you know, sometimes I don't have any. Some people just quietly come, quietly go. It's like a Chinese poem, you know, I come quietly, I laugh quietly. Then that made me feel really bad. And then I had to read over the nice comment you guys wrote. And then I feel much better after that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, good, Kayla. Thank you, Kayla. I Thank you, Kayla. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I really, sometimes I need the input from you guys. You know, there was one class I always say good morning and then no one asks you. And I was saying good morning every day. And then after six weeks, I, sometimes even now, <laughs> I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, I feel very stressed, um, very depressed by that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Okay, now, um, so. Um, so what happened over here is when I take the duality, this L and of Y, I got one over, uh, with respect to Y, I got one over Y. So I got one over Y first, but that's not all. Remember, uh, so this is the outer, this is the outer function. And then this is the inner function. So you, by the chain rule, you have to modify by the duality of this inner function, which is, so we got the Y prime over here. Okay, so when this is not this x, you need to times this y prime. Okay, the times the duality of this inner function y prime. Now we're done with the left side. Okay, what about the right side? Differentiate this with respect to x. So when you differentiate this with respect to x, the 3 4 is a constant multiple. So you will need the 3 4 in front. And then. Um, <laughs> And then the duality ln of x with respect to x is what? 1 over x, right? So it's 1 over x. So it's 1 over x over here. So we're done with this, okay? Now, because this is a uh, differential with respect to x, so it's just a 1 over x, right? Now, this one here is not x, it is y. y is a function of x. So you have this extra times y prime. But when, when this is x, you just have 1 over x over here, okay? And then press this one half here is a constant multiple. So you have this one half. And then the duality of this ln of this. Think about this whole thing here. It's a single variable. So the duality ln is one over whatever inside. Remember the chain rule says you differentiate the outer, okay? And then you leave this, you leave this in the function here uh, alone, okay? So you get one over whatever inside here. So that is the duality of the outer with respect to this, okay? Now the chain rule says that that's not all. We need to still get all the way to the inner function. This is the inner and this is the outer, okay? So now we have to times this by the duality of this inner function. The duality of x squared over here, it is two x. So we times 2x over here. Now we finally need done with this, this one, okay? We finally finished differentiating this using the chain rule, okay? Differentiate the outer, you get one over this. Times the duality of the inner, you get 2x, okay? Minus the phi over here is a constant multiple, okay? So we time, and then put the phi in front. The duality of this, okay? Now, everyone tell me, what will be the duality of this using the chain rule? One. One over? Would it be one? Or three times x plus two, maybe? Okay. Yes. One over, uh, so the duality of this will be one over whatever this inside here, right? One over three x plus two, okay? But that's not all. We need to times the duality of this in the function. So which is the duality of this inner function here, it is a three. So we have this three right here, 
Okay, we got it. Okay. All right. So now once you break it down like this, it's not that scary, right? So I know some of you looking at this simple and say, wow, what is this? Okay. So try to not to be intimidated by those. Okay. So think about this. Um, we can break it down into step by step. Okay. So you see, you can actually do it. Okay. You certainly can do it. Okay. So we get to this part over here. Okay. Now, after you have a uh, differentiate both sides with respect to x, now we solve for y prime. So we solve for y prime over here. To solve for this y prime, we just need to multiply both sides by this, right? So we multiply both sides by this y, we'll get this y prime isolated. So we'll have this y times, so we have this y times whatever inside, uh, whatever this expression here simplified into. Okay, let's simplify this side here. So this side here simplified into three, three over four x plus this is what the two over here cancel, right? So you got this x over x squared plus one. And then over here we have 15 over three x plus two, right? Now, finally, we turn everything back to x. So we replace this y by this because y equals this, it was given, okay? Now then this will be the final answer for y prime. That's called log differentiation, okay? You think you guys can do it? Okay, all right. So this is how we do it. Now we can use log differentiation to prove this general version of the power rule. Remember x to the n power, uh, where n is any real number, then y prime equal to n times x to the n minus one. Uh, before we only have n to be just integer, okay, or positive integer. Now we can actually prove it. It's actually work for n is any real number, okay? So we have this function y equal to x to the n, okay? Uh, know that if y is less than zero, then L and the y is not defined. Remember for L and the y to be defined, this has to be positive. The domain for this function here, this y over here has to be greater than zero, okay? So to make it greater than zero, uh, remember the graph for Ln of Ln, okay? The graph for Ln is like this, okay? Uh, suppose this is u, so l and u over here is going to be like this. So the domain for that will be all the number greater than zero, okay? So if it's negative, it's not defined, okay? Um, now to make this uh, positive, so we can put the absolute value on y over here. So put the absolute value on both sides over here. So over here, the absolute value over here on both sides, okay? Now we can take Ln on both sides, Ln of this. Now this exponent can bring it in front of this Ln. So we got this one over here. Now we can use implicit differentiation to find y prime. Differentiate this, you get one over y, okay? And then times y prime, okay? Okay. And then times n, now the word to this is n times one over x. Remember the, the word of absolute value of uh, x over here. Let's go back to what we have over here. So early on, the duality ln of absolute value of x here, it is one over x, right? So if you have the absolute value or without the absolute value, both of them had the same duality, one over x, right? So over here, so when you get to this one over here, the duality ln of absolute value of y with respect to y is one over y. And then times the duality of this inner function, so you get this y prime, and times the duality of ln of absolute value of x here is one over x. So sum for y prime, y prime will be n times y, over x because you multiply both sides by y. So the y here will go here, okay? Now y is equal to x to the n. So 
x to the n over x is x to the n minus one power. So y prime equal this. So we just prove this, okay? Uh, I actually make a note over here. The derivative of absolute value of y with respect to x is one over y times y prime because the inner function here is this, this y, okay? Uh, 